listen to, to their Wall Street friend, says Cody Willard. Hank, listen, three weeks ago, my stock was at 60, and now it's at 2. The entire system's going to collapse if I go bankrupt, man. Willard's a former hedge fund manager who says the crowd on Wall Street is panicked because they and their friends are too close to the problem. Remember the killer bee scare? Then, too, it was the bee scientists who were closest to the problem who freaked out about the bees. And they're like a little time bomb that's waiting to go off. And it was the Y2K computer techs who were most convinced there'd be a catastrophe. It would take nothing short of a miracle for all of the hospitals, nursing homes, and clinics to get ready in time. Today, Wall Street's leaders are panicking because all their friends are frightened. The entire banking system is collapsing beneath my feet. You've got to do something. Can you send me some money? That is the madness of the crowds that Hank Paulson is hearing from. There have always been bubbles. Yeah, and one of the first ones is South Sea Bubble. In 1720, the South Seas bubble was a madness of optimism. People thought everyone would get rich from trade with the New World. The South Seas represented this tremendous investment opportunity. Stocks doubled and doubled again. And even brilliant people like Isaac Newton became convinced that prices would keep going up. They almost never do. He lost big. Isaac Newton did lose all of his money in a bubble. It is true. This that guy is true. was so smart. <laughs> right. He was. We're still talking about right. him now, but he too... Got, got swept away, basically, by the mania. I can calculate the motions of the heavenly bodies, Newton reportedly said, but not the madness of men. And bubbles keep happening. Ten years ago, we had the dot-com bubble. The crowd rushed to buy Internet companies like this one. Got it! Pets.com, because pets can't drive. Unprofitable companies like Pets.com were valued in the millions. If you didn't own dot-com stock, you missed out. Internet stocks are literally climbing off the charts. Everybody was making money. It made me think, gee, maybe I should jump on. Right. The longer they last, the harder they become to resist. Because what they do is they start to convince you that they're real. And that was really true with the tech bubble. So I don't all remember. The smart people were making all this exactly. money. Exactly. But eventually, the crowd was shown to be wrong. The tech bubble popped too. Online grocer Webvan will file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. Nearly every day, another dot-com failed. But we recovered from that, and the market boomed again. So before we panic this time, let's remember that while the Dow has dropped sharply this year, if you back up 25 years, you see an amazing rise. In 1982, the Dow was well below 1,000. We're still up more than 1,000% in just the time since I was actually in elementary school. So why is everyone talking about the disaster? Because relative to where we were six months ago, everybody is poor. But relative to where we were, say, 25 years ago, this is still an amazing time and place to be alive. In fact, it's the most amazing time and place to be alive in the history of the planet. Let's chill out a little bit. And while you chill, we wanted to let you know that as of tonight on Intrade, the crowd is saying Obama will be our next president. His shares sell for 84 cents versus 16 and a half cents for McCain. A Halloween.